Shalom Aleichem. Today is Tuesday. It's Chav Hey Ir. And I'm doing the second part of the Maimed of Ayyem Ale Yehenes and Machar Chodesh Vinifkadita. The first part I did on Friday. And the Teuchen of the Maimed is the idea of Ki Pocket Meshavecha Vinifkadita. How Bittel brings to a greater deal. It's a classic Maimed. And the Rebbe uses the language of Yerid Etzer Chaliyah. That first of all, we're Mavadah, the Guf, the Rebbe Shabbat Hamas, and Chalke Ba'olam. And this is the Bittel. And the Bittel, this is the Ki Epoket Meshavecha. And then there is the Scha, Yerid Etzer Chaliyah. Yerid Etzer Chaliyah is in Nefkadatah. And the Rebbe trying to say, Nefkadatah, that we should be Tefes Mokim. That in Atmos Mosa in Zav Baruch where nothing is Tefes Mokim, a Yid, who's also bottled to the Ebishter altogether, should be bottled to the Ebishter altogether, but in such a moment, the Matziv, that even in a place where nothing is Tefes Mokim, the Yid should be Tefes Mokim. This is what we learned in the Maimed of Mokr Chaydish. Now we're going to do the second half of this Maimed, and as you know, it's not in order. We're going to be learning the bottom of 390, top of 391, and then we're going to move to 393 and 394, Be'ezer Hashem Baruch That's the plan. This is the Maimed, but part of the Maimed. In other words, as I told you in the last class, Machal Chedesh happens, can happen quite a few times each year. I don't know how many months could have a Rish Chedesh on a Sunday, but um, each month a Rish Chedesh could be on a Sunday could in theory be a Machal Chedesh. And consequently, there's quite a few parshies that could be Machal Chedesh. And one of the things that Eba likes to do is to explain the relationship between each individual parsha, each individual circumstance where a Mocha Chedesh occurs and that Pash. And he's doing that here. And the way he's doing that here is that Bamid Bar Sinai and Ba'ayal Moyed is Ki Pocket Meshavecha and Vinifkad. Bamid Bar Sinai is against Bittel, that Eid is nothing. And Ba'ayal Moyed is against Zikaran, Vinifkad. That's where this Maimon is going to go. And of course, it's tied into Matan Teda and Har Sinai, because Bamid Bar Sinai Ba'ayal Moyed is connected to Matan Teda for obvious reasons. The Teda was given there. And the Torah was repeated again. You'll see in a moment. And the Rebbe is going to say, he says in Rashi and Pachas Bahar, that the whole Torah was said in Har Sinai. And the whole Torah was repeated a second time in Ayol Mayyad. And the whole Torah was repeated a third time in Arves Mayyad. Even though some mitzvahs are written in the first occasion, some mitzvahs are written in the second occasion, and some mitzvahs are written in the third occasion. So, Bamid Basin of Ayol Mayyad is critical to Torah, and Bamid Basin is the idea of Bittl, and Ayol Mayyad is the idea of Zikarin, Gili Alakus, on a high level, and an even higher level, and an even, even higher level. And you'll find that in this part of the Maimir, we're not just going to have two things, Ki Epoket Meshavecha, Bittl, and Vinevkadeta, Zikarin, we're going to have three or four components. In other words, the Zikarin is going to have a Shidine Madregis, the Oyel Moid is going to have a Shidine Aliyas. But let's go to the Maimir, so inside Vihine. Page 390, second paragraph. Pashas by Midbar Ketel Ae, the most name Haga Shavu is Pashas by Midbar is always a Rufoshwus. Okay, Simon Haga Enim is out. The Enim bring is brought in Svarim that we finish the Tater according to the Minnegan Duffers, like the Ramam says. There's two Minhagim. How the Tater is read. If you complete the Tater in a year, or you complete the Tater in three years. And the Ramam, of course, brings both of these Shitas La Halacha. Because both of them are Halachic. Nevertheless, the widely accepted Minnegan is that we complete the Tater every year in Simchas Tater. But in order to complete every year the Tater Simchas Tater, there's certain built-in constants that are established. And one of them is that Pashas Bamid, but is always before Shavuos. And Pashas Nitzavim is always before Rosh Hashanah. The difference is that Pashas Nitzavim is always before Rosh Hashanah, period. And Pashas Bamid is before Shavuos, and sometimes so is Nasi. And of course, one of the reasons why Pashas Bamid is before Shavuos is because the Pasha before is the Techocha, or Pashas Bechokaisa, and Tochel Shano Vekilaleseha. Vetochel Vechas Shano Birchese. You want the old year and its curses to end. Vedachof. Tochel Vedachof. And then you want the new year and its blessings to begin with Vedaches. So you finish the clause before Rosh Hashanah. Aleph Tishri is called Rosh Hashanah. Matan Teh is also called Rosh Hashanah. Look, it's brought in Sfarim. So before Rosh Hashanah, you finish the Teh. But you don't want the Teh directly adjacent to the Yom Tif. So you have a Pasha which, so to speak, acts as a buffer and in the end of the year it's Nitzavim, and on Shavuos it's usually Vamidbar, and sometimes it's Nasek. But certainly, 
the proximity of Bamid to Shavuos is not only as a buffer. The Bechukaisai, there's a special connection with Bamid and Matan There's so many Sikhas of the Rebbe, or the Rebbe brings the Shalah, about the idea of counting Jewish people, which makes Yidin a Dabbish. Rebbe Minyan, how that ties into Matan and so on. So here also the Rebbe says, Pashas Bamid Bakkadal Eil Mathen Chagash Shavuos. Pashas Bamid was always there before Shavuos. Ukasimen Hagoinim is the Rebbe that is brought in the Goinim and the Rebbe has been signed to Atesis in Megillah, in footnote 3. Vahainu, this means that yesh no shaykhes is a philosophical, a spiritual relatedness bin pashas by midbil and matantel. It's not only as a buffer, it's not only to separate the chokesef and matantel, there's a reason why by midbil is before matantel. Vahi and pashas by midbil is hachonav agdomali and atel, it's a preparation and an introduction to the giving of the tero. Um, because most years that's the pasha that blesses the week of Shavuos this year like in Tavshin Lamed Hay. this year Tavshin Pei Gimel in Tavshin Lamed Hay, with the same Kfiyah Shavuos was Friday and Shabbos so the Shabbos before Bamid but was also Shabbos Mavarchim and Eshchedish was on Sunday Shemizah Muvam which Im- implies it indicates the Kmeish of the Bamid but just like in Pashas Bamid Bar Yesh Nambeza and Yonah we have the two ideas of Mid Bar Sinai and Eil Meid as I mentioned too earlier, the mid bar sin and el may it parallels the key pocket meshabach on the kadet, just like the moon is renewed a sigmas chadish kameis, and the renewal of the moon requires the erasure of the old bittel, and then his chachos the bittel then moiled key pocket meshabach, and then vinif kadet. The same is true. The shab is before shuas is bemid bar sin. This is the vinif kadet, the key pocket, and the el may this is the vinif kadet or the preparation for the tain. Oh. Says the Rebbe that may be pashas by midbar yesh beis in yarn and midbar sin of el meid, just like we explained in the previous paragraph, at the beginning of the Maimon, that midbar sin and el meid's duality, which is ki pocket meshabech and vinif kadata, is the Shabbos before Shuas, kmei ken yesh nam betera beis ha yarn and meyenze, not just in pashas by midbar, but when it comes to the whole of the Torah, which is going to be given after the Shabbos by midbar, you have both themes of midbar sin and el meid. So the Shaila becomes, what does Bamid Basin El Mayid mean? And how is it related to Torah? And how are Bamid Basin and El Mayid reflected in Inyanatera? Vihine. Hashaykh is the Bamid Basin of El Mayid Linyanatera, the relationship or the relatedness between the two ideas of Mid Basin and El Mayid. And Tera is Muvenas Gamba Pashas, makes simple sense. Why? Because Meshkib Tera is Sinai. Tera was given in Sinai. So Bamid Basin is connected to Tera, which was given in Sinai. But it's gam b'nei geyel el meid. The Torah was not only given in Har Sinai, it was given in el meid, because that says in the pasuk for Yikre el meisha, for Yidaber Avaya lov me el meid that Ebi shtikol meisha Rabbein when he spoke to him from the el meid. So the Torah has a special connection to Midbar Sinai, and it has an additional special connection to el meid. V'chein kol ha Torah kulo, not just Vayikre, but the entirety of the Torah, gam ma shekvar nitn b'Sinai, all of it was given in Sinai. Even that that was given in Sinai is Chazer. V'nishne Ba'el Meid is repeated a second time in Ayel Meid. The Meid then move from which simply and obviously represents or indicates Hashaychus to Bamid Ba'asin of Ayel Meid, which is the Pashtus Ba'midbar, Linyan Ateiru, which is connected to Shavuos. The Mid Ba'asin of Ayel Meid are connected to Shavuos because Matan Teira is the word Ba'asin of Ayel Meid. Like the Rashi says in Pashtus Bahar, and the Rebbe brings the Gemara in Sechta Seito, but the Tayyid in its entirety, all Tayyag Mitzvahs were given in Har Sinai, all Tayyag Mitzvahs were given again in Ehel Meyad, and all Tayyag Mitzvahs were given a third time in Arves Meyad, at the end of the 40 years. Now, the word has to be Bepashtas. Hashem gave Meisha all Tayyag Mitzvahs in Har Sinai. Moshe came down from the mountain and he taught them all to the Jewish people. Then in Ehel Meyad, Hashem gave him again all the Tayyag Mitzvahs. And Meshach repeated them all to the Jewish people. And then in Arve Ismail, Hashem told to Meshach Rabbeinu a third time, and Meshach Rabbeinu repeated to the Jewish people. Now it's also possible that Hashem taught it only once, and Meshach taught it three times. I don't know. But certainly there's a notion of the Torah being given three times, once at Har Sinai, once in Ayal Mayad, and once in Arve Ismail. Now I gave a class on Sunday morning to the women, and I mentioned to them that Ashi, in Pashat Ba'aloyscha, that the Yidin were very happy when they left Har Sinai, they're not going to have any more mitzvahs. Which leads me to believe, perhaps, that when it says in Rashi, from the Chazal, that Hashem gave us all 630 mitzvahs in Har Sinai, and then He gave us all 630 mitzvahs again in El Mayed, it means He gave us all 630 mitzvahs again in El Mayed while we're still standing in Har Sinai. Now, if that's true, it's kind of weird, because 
from the time they built the Mishkan until they left, it's only 50 days. They built the Mishkan, Reish Chedesh Nisan. They left Chof Ir. And if you're going to say that Bamid Barsina means in the mountain, Hashem gave Mesha all the mitzvahs in the mountain, and Mesha came down and taught it. And Ba'il Ma'id means Hashem taught the whole 630 mitzvahs again to Mesha Rabbeinu in the Ayil Ma'id in those 50 days. And Mesha had a chance to repeat them all to the Jewish people. It seems like a small amount of time, although it's not such a kasha. Unless, this is all that what I told the women, you say that Ayil Ma'id doesn't only mean the Beis Hamikdash or the Mishkan, it includes Mesha Rabbeinu's tent. Like it says in Pashas Kisisa, the Mesha came down from the mountain, he took his tent, he separated himself from the people, and he called it Oyel Mayid, Vehoyel Kamabakash Hashem, Yetzi El Oyel Mayid. In other words, Hashem gave all the mitzvahs in Arsina, he came down and he taught them to us. He separated himself from the Jewish people and put up a tent outside the camp for that winter from Yud Nisan, from the day after Yom Kippur, until Chav Gimel Adu and the Mishkan was put up. And his house was then called Oyel. Moshe Rabbeinu's own home was called Oyel Mayed. And perhaps then Hashem taught Moshe Rabbeinu the Torah a second time, and Moshe repeated to the Jewish people. And it would continue in the 50 days from Rosh Chedesh Nis until they left. I don't know if that's true or not. It's just speculative. So there's two speculations. Speculation number one is that Oyel Mayed means not the 40 years in the Midbar by Oyel Mayed, but the, the 50 days at Har Sinai, but from Oyel Mayed. And the second speculation is that perhaps El Meir includes not just the Mishkan, but also includes Meishah Rabbeinu's home. Beis Rabbeinu Sheva Babel, as we would call it, or 770 Beis Mashiach, which was called Oyel Meir until the Beis HaMikdash was erected. Anyway, Tziazei, Tziazei. These are details. The, the constant is that Hashem gave us the whole Teir in Har Sinai and Meishah Torah to us. Hashem gave the Teir a second time in El Meir and Meishah Rabbeinu Torah to us again. And Hashem gave Meish Rabbeinu the whole Torah the third time, and Arvis Meyev, and Meish Rabbeinu taught to us a third time. So any Pasuk that mentions Eil Meyed and Har Sinai is obviously deeply connected to Torah because the Torah also was given in these two places. And the Rebbe continues and he says, You can ask a good Takash. The Pasha is Bamid Benemra, the story of counting the Jewish people to the beginning of our Pasha, takes place after the Tater was given to Meshach Oz, it says in the Pasha, that's when Hashem told Meshach to count the Yid, and then 20 days after that they would leave. So the second Yid says, B'nei Yisrael Me'et Mitzrayim, so L'Cheira. This Bamid Barsina Be'el made, which Rashi says, of course, ain't muktam um uchabatera. Since in the later in Pashas Nasa, you're going to go back to the Nisim. And Nesh Chedesh Nisan, so the Torah is not written in order. So, how could you associate Bamid Barsina Be'el made that's written here to Matan Tera? It's a whole year come out after Nisina Satera. So the Rebbe says that's true. Amam, however, Pash, Indian Pashas with the idea of this Pash which is to count the Jewish people. Indian Kloli is an idea which is basic and all-encompassing to what the Jewish people are and what our relationship with the Eibishter is. Shara Inyan Aminyan, which is the notion of counting the Jewish people and counting them makes them into soldiers, as you'll see in a moment. And counting them makes them more choshev, like it says in the Rebbe Sichis from the Shalom of Chuli. The Mizah movement, which indicates Inyan Zed, the idea of counting the Jewish people. And any word written in that account is Negea, the of the Tehidah of Mitzvah, touches the totality of Tehidah and Mitzvah. So if it touches the totality of the Torah and Mitzvah, so even though the story happened a year after the Torah was given, it ties into the Torah because that's a part of clause of the Torah and Mitzvah, including the idea that the Torah was given completely in Tarsina and then given completely a second time in Ehel Meid Vihine. Haminyan, this count that took place on the Shredish Ir in Beit Allah from Tav Mem Tes at Har Sina Ehel Meid, Says the Rebbe, Haminyan Hai Bayeit said Tzavah Bisa. It was not they didn't count all the Jewish people; they counted the soldiers. Now, of course, there was such a thing called the Machzas Hashekel, and the Machzas Hashekel was given every year, but the Machzas Hashekel was not necessarily for a census, because even though it's a halacha, Machzas Hashekel is only b'chuy of men past a certain age. But the din was, the minig was that you gave Machzas Hashekel even for children. You certainly gave Machzas Hashekel for your wife, and the yid could give Machzas Hashekel whether he's b'chuy or not. And normally they did not use the machzah shekel to count Jews, they just used it for the, what's called the lishka, the karbonus tamid. On rare occasion there was a special minion of machzah shekel, because now that I count heads like Rashi says in Pasha because you're worried about magif. So they gave the machzah shekel to count how many yidin there are based on how many shkalim there were. 
And this count was only Zcharim males may ben Esim Shar of Mav at the age of 20 and up. And this minion gives them Yidnu in the Madrega of a Yetzi Tzava or a Chashivas. And as you'll see soon, the Chashivas consists of the both points of Bamid Basini, which is his Kafya, and Ba'il Maid, which is his Chapcha, as this Maimon is going to develop. Says the Rebbe, the Indian at Tzavahu. The meaning of the word Tzav has three translations. The first is Betrayal of Muhammad army, which is for war. And in this case, it's Muhammad as a Yetzi, the one with the Yetzi Rara. Oim Muhammad Baklau, or a war even physically. On a basic level, I'm Muhammad Badarah Manuch, or a war of peace. What's a war of peace? A cold war, huh? Khadav Shal Shalom, Tfilo. There's all different kinds of Muhammad, and all of them are included in the word Sava. Soldiers fight wars. Obateva Sava Yashrim Birushim. In fact, more specifically, the word Sava three translations of Fri, the Kidab says in the Basilagani and Pedic Yud. Kameshma Vaya, top of page three nine one now, as it's explained by Kveg, Yidush is made, if the Chom may add more the Fri the Kidab. Behem Shechai Elul in the Maimah which he gave out for his yard at the Nidhi Elul. The first Pidush of Tzav is La Shechai, that means a soldier. And of course you know what it says in the Sichas. And then Maimahim, that the Evet has Kabbalah sale, Bittl, right? It says in Samach Vav, Mek Nerav, that Evet has a mile over a Ben, and Evet Nem, and Evet Alam Mailas. But there's still a difference between an Evet and a Chayal. Evet has Kabbalah sale, the Bittl, which connects him to Atmos. But a Chayal is ready for Mesir HaSnefesh, which is even more than that. So the first translation, of Yitzay Tzava means Chayal, soldiers. And the second is Man Kavu or Mugbal, a time that's fixed and set. Like it says, Halay Tzava and Eshalay Aras Vagame, there's a time for everything. And the third translation of Chayal is Lashen Yefi Vihidir, beauty. Kamisha Dosher Azal on the Pasa, we call Tzvam, the Hainless of Yehid Vivir, everything is created with its own beauty, its own form, its own. Bechal Tzvam means all their hosts. Hosts means everything that exists in the Shamayim, everything that exists in the Aras. But the Gemara translates Sivan Lem Sivyenum to their full form, their full bloom, their full development, and their full beauty. So the word Sava means a soldier, the word Sava means fixed time, and the word Sava means Yefi. The Rebbe ties the three words together, and of course, this is how it is in the Basil Lagani as well. Indian Bazehu, the Pshatis, Tani, Lady Vray, Sela Shamish, Kim says that I was created for my master, nothing else. Which means the whole is me is all every single Jew. Tzarech lias needs to be, and we could also add wishes to be. Ish chal shal a kadosh baruch hu a soldier of a kadosh baruch hu. B'yesh neis man mukbel avidasei, but in order to be a soldier, you have to conform to the fact that the Eibush gave you a limited amount of time. Pashat, how long you're going to live? Like it doesn't depart the yomim yitzar of a leyachad behem. The Eibush gave us days, and our job is to be mamshach the echad into them. That even though the leyachad behem means. Into him you have to put echad, which would make more sense if the loy was with a vav. To him, echad behem, you bring echad into all those days. The pilot says the loy with an aleph, loy but not with a vav. Kishnei yapirushim bazeh kamavur breishim es kveh gedushim es marzam achzadek ala kasov mitzayin lekama makemis. That loy is there's a lot of that. Who is on the loy? Anachnu loy is with a vav and with an aleph. It's a kriya nixiv. And the yom of mitzar of loy echad behem is also a kriya nixiv, and there's a reason why it's written in an aleph. Because they go, the loy echad behem means we have to bring the echad into each day, and the loy echad behem or an aleph means we have to access keser, which is the madrega of the aleph, and bring that into days. Shneis nim leis man mugul. This soldier is given time. That's the first translation of tzav. Second translation of tzav. Shiavid David does he should do his work. Moreover, who avid David does he does his work. Bezman ha mugul is in the time that he was given. And it ends up, Avedaz at Sarachli, as the end of his Avedaz, the Betach as Ahidar of Ayyef Hashem, his ultimate beauty and grandeur and wholeness and perfection and peacefulness. So in Avedaz, this means Avedaz Hashem is Bidurim. Bidurim is a Malchama. And after the Bidurim, there's his Kavalos. And the Kavalos is Tikkur, and the Kavalos is beautiful. That's the Yayf. And it concludes the Tilas, Avedaz, Ragbachin, and Siskafi. You start off, you Avedaz, just bending yourself, which is the Madreg of Midbasine. On the Macha Kach Bolu Dei is Hapcha, which is Hapcha, which is Madrig of Eil Maid, which is Tachos Ahid of Yevi Bavidase, that Yavayda should be beautiful. So the three translations of Tzava also sort of speak jibe, they parallel the idea of Bemid Basina Eil Maid. You start out in Muhammad, that's Bemid Basina, and it culminates with beauty, which is how after the war things are integrated and beautified, and this is Be'el Maid. So that's a link between Pashas Hashavua, Pashas Bamidbar, and Matan Teira, and Macha that you have the two themes of Bittl 
and then Gilui and Zikarin. As it relates to Har Sinai, that we should be Tefes Mokim. As it relates to Machar Chedish, that the moon should be born and should be recognized. And as it relates to the Pashas HaShavu. Now go to page 393 and let's begin the new paragraph, the number 16. Number 16. Rebbe begins on page 393, new paragraph. Everything we said, the other half of the Maimir, about which is the bitl of Elamis to fulfill the purpose of Tikkun Elamis and then Yerzeichet 2. Veniv Kadato, which is the idea of Yerid, it's Erechali of the Neshama, the Yerid, and Shibitefis Mokim. These two ideas in this Sugi of Machar Chedesh are the same two ideas in Bemid Basini Be'el Meid, in Pashas Bamidbar, which is the preparation for Matan Teda. Shekabei Shaide Yipokid Meshavachar just as in the Sugi of Machar Chedesh. Yipokid Meshavachar, your seat is empty, which indicates a great bittle. And in the in the Maimed the Rebbe said, this is the bittle of Elamis, the bittle of the Guf, the Shabbos and Elamis, bittle of Yesh, the bittle of Bimitzias. And then the Rebbe said, Bittl Legamre. The Loshn is Bittl Betachlis on top of this page. Three lines from the top. Hinnik Mei Kain, the same is also true that there's the two steps of Midbar Sinai, which is the Bittl of Elamis and Tikkun of Elamis, which I guess could be called basically Yiskafia. And then, Nasa Be Eil Meyed, Eil Meyed is that after the Bittl and after the Yiskafia, you have the Zikorit, which is in effect is Hapchat, the Gil Elokus into the world. So he says, Dine. And he translates the word Sinai, and he translates also the word Bamidbar. And then he's going to translate both words Oyel and Moyed. doesn't just translate one word, he translates both. It says that Abba Sinai, he has Yodah Sinalu The word Sinai, the Gemara says, means that from here began hatred to the nations of the world. Means Goyim began to hate Yidin when the Abishta gave us the Teda. But Hasidus doesn't explain it to mean literally that non Jews hate Jews because the Abishta gave us the Teda, but that Klipa hates Kedusha. Because the Abishta gave us the Teda. Evil hates good, virtue, righteousness, once the Abishta established righteousness in this world through the Teda, and he gave it to a particular group of people. There's a phenomena called other nations, which represents Klippa and evil. And it's in the sin of that they have a hatred towards Teda, towards the Lakuas, towards the Abishta. If you will, it's like even a Malik. That Amalek just hates, right? Yes, they made a and limit, but they gave us the Teda and in giving us the Teda. And sort of speak, putting the world on a footing that has to do with a purpose, the world pushed back. It didn't like it. And therefore, since the Teda is coming into this world, creates a pushback that the world has a sinner to Yidin, to Yiddishkeit, to Teda, because Vestach, as the Chazal say, Avde Bevkeda Nichalei. This is the way you mash aim. They say the teda is with the shetad is called ace, which means strength, and the shear, which means to weaken. It's my mother Hasidus that explained the idea of ace. It's in Tanya Pedic Lamed Vov. It's in the beginning of Samachov as well. Ace means a koyach to be mechaber of opposites, bringing godliness together with worldliness. And to shear means to weaken klipet. Sur yilad the chateshi, but tishkach kel mechel lecha. There's a whole story of teshi in places in Hasidus how the klipa of the worlds are weakened. The lagabi yom is when it comes to goyim ateid he to shear the teda weakens them. But Teda Eid, Teda says, Teda Eid explains that there's one Teda, and it has Beis and Yonah, but it has two things, just like you have, for example, by Makas Bechedes, Noguf le Mitzrayim, where Rafael Yisrael Hashem goes into, has, into Mitzrayim, and he reveals himself. For Yidin, it's a healing, and for Mitzrayim, it's a Noguf. The same is true, there's one Teda, comes into this world, and for Yidin, it's Eid, and for Seine Yisrael, for Sina Li Yisrael, it's Tushia. The two idea of Ois, of Teda being strengthening for Yid, and the Teda being to sheer weakening Klippa are two opposite things. Or because aim, nevertheless, we say that the one Teda that Hashem gave us simultaneously serves both purposes. Teda and Kaz aids with the sheer aids and never shall a kiss. It gives might and strength to bring together opposites. As far as the divine soul is concerned, with the sheer, it gives weakness, the goof to the body, but nefesh, the Bahamas, and the animal soul translates the Rebbe. Shamateshas keiche shall all them. It weakens the strength of a person, which means goof of nefesh Bahamas. So, see, that means hate. And. The idea that the Teda was given as Sinai is the Mateshes Koychoi Shal Sinai. What about the word Bamidba? So he continues in translates the word Bamidba now. But Chayin Hu, 
the Indian Bamid Bar Sinai, just like the word Sinai denotes that when it came to the Abish giving us the Tata, there was pushback, there was klipa, there was hate, there was evil that has to be addressed. The word Bamid Bar also represents or reflects or refers to this pushback, and he explains. Because in Yen Amid Bahu, the meaning of Amid Bar is Commission cause of it's written in the Pasuk, Eres Asher Le Yashab Adam Shalom. It's a land where no man sits. Hainu Shumakum, because that's the kind of place. Asher Adam Shu Adam Le Elyon, a human being who's created in the image of Akadish Baruch. Shazehu, that the Adam Elyon, the Abish, there's Adam Eti, the true Adam. And because Lamaila, there's Adam, therefore there's Lamata Adam, right? Nishtal Shalom Ahem. And Yachaliyat Shon Beis Yashas and Shalla Yashav Adam Shon doesn't mean that Jews don't people don't pass through the Midbar; they can't live in the desert in a permanent way. In way Beis Yashas of being settled. The Mekiv and Ashal Yashav Shon Adam Adam Shon, who Adam and Shalaki say, whereas Adam means the Abish that cannot rest over there because it's a desert. Lachain therefore Gama Adam the Lamata the person that in this world does Adam El Elyon created in an image. Any Yachaliyat Shon Beis Yashas cannot be there in a settled way. So we're not saying that there's no Yid in Midbar. We're not saying there's no Teder. But if I care, there's a Chaim Chazal which is brought Minchas Teder Teder the Rabbim. Why was a Teder given a Teder in the Midbar to say that Teder is Hefker? It's Minachas the Kenan Zovis. Anybody who wants it can go and take it. So there's an upside to Midbar, but the downside of Midbar is that if you're a Mensch, his Yashas in the Midbar you can pass through a desert, but to be settled in the Midbar you can't have. So both the word Sinai and the word Midbar denote the challenges to the Torah, the giving of the Torah, as related to how the Torah was given. Vazehu unyin b'midbar sinah explains both words: the word sina and the word midbar. Shiyar the sin alum is elam that hatred from goyim to yidden came into this world, as a result of the fact that the Abish gave us the Torah. Says the Rebbe. In addition to that, shayin the midbar. The idea of the desert and the Torah was also given in midbar sina is hey pecha inyin this yashvus to all them the opposite of the being settled person. Peil hasin alum is elam. It's part of what causes. The hatred from the world to Alakus and the avoid which comes as a result does in this kafio bitlayesh. When you're in this world and the world is your enemy, say nacha, like it says in the Bashem to state on the Pasuk, in Pashas Mishpatim. And when you're in this world and you can't seem to find a place for yourself, because to you the world is a desert, because the world's values are opposite of your values, and you have to fight it out with Sinai and with Midbar Sinai, you do so by way of struggle. What's called is kafia. That's the avoida of Ba'oyhel Bayid that the Abisha sets up I'm sorry, Bamid Barsina, a place which is has to do with hatred and a desert which is unsettleable. And in such an environment a yid fights and he brings the Abish into the world. That's Mid Basina. And then the Rebbe says, Vai day there nas then comes but Elmed Bizamsha remembering us. Now in our Maimir in the previous paragraph, on top of page 393, where the Rebbe explained this, Vinif Kadata, it has to do with in Atzmus, Yidin should be Tevis Mokim. Even though in Atzmus, Yidin are not Tevis Mokim, it's other Etzem, Yidin should be Tevis Mokim through their avoid. That's the Vinif Kadata. And here it's Ba'ayel Mayad. After you have the Bittal and the Eskafia of Mamid Barsina, you have this Hapcha and the Gili of Ba'ayel Mayad. Bimoyed Yeshnam Kama Pirushim. There's a number of interpretations to the word Moyed. And as it develops, you'll see that it's three. Number one, the Tevas Moyed Ba Mi Masha Kosa Vine Adi Telechasham. I'm going to meet you there. So the word Vine Adi means a rendezvous point, a point and a time and space of meeting, which is Kriyas Mokim Wazman. Moyed means. The idea that there's a time and a place where we converge with Akadish Baruch Hu. So the converge with Akadish Baruch Hu is limited and defined by time and space. Vagam Isa Bezea, that translates the word Mayad. But when it comes to the translation of the word Vinayadati, we have a Zayar. And the Zayar says that there's two basic ideas. The first basic idea is Aisi is Vinayadati, move the Ayn and the Dalit around. And Vinayadati, which means I will meet you, becomes Vinayadati, I will be known. Showing Mashakoso, that the idea. That in Mayid, which is when Abish comes into his man, when a deity were able to know him, it's Mashakos, like it says in the Zay, it's written Tanya Perek Mamdal, they never showed him Baila. Kol Chad Vechad Lafum Shiur Dele, each one knows the Abish did in their own way. So that's like Venei Daiti. 
So just like before, we translated both the word Sina and the word Midbar. Now we're translating the word Mayed, and soon we'll translate the word Oyel. But when it comes to Mayed, first translation is it means Mokom Azman. The second translation is that in Mokom Azman, you get to know HaKadosh Baruch Says the Rebbe Shazehu Inyan, the idea that in Malkam as man we study. And we know Akadish Baruch with that idea is avoid that serving Akadish Baruch of one of us, Agabalakut, which all of us understand the beach and godliness. It's a verstain to understand. In other words, you, Chali, is have one of us, a person can understand and reach intellectually, which is the Madre Gavina, and he uses his mind to intellectually bring the Abisha to his brain. Ah, and there's an even higher level than that, which is Eif and Achin, I live as there's an even higher level of understanding of the Kuch, which is Chochmah. And of course, Chochmah has many Madregas. And the way Chochmah knows is different than the way Bina knows. Bina knows much more thoroughly and analytically. And Chochmah knows more intuitively. And by way of enlightenment, and a person could know the Abish and the Abish level of Bina, and a person that can even know the Abish level of Chochmah, both of that is connected to the second translation of the word Mayid, which is Venei but that also limits the relationship to have with the Abishta to our mind and our heart and our senses to our faculties. So Mayyad means a time and space for a meeting, and that the meeting takes place with the use of the mind and the heart. And that comes the third type of the word Mayyad. Om Nam Khan Amir. But the Lashon of the Pazik is not very daity, I will be known, but Vene Adati, which means I will meet you. Hainu the Yeshnam Rak Hakfias. Mokumazman, that once there is time and space, you don't need to have the second step, which is to come to know Akadish Baruch using your mind, which is either Bin or Chachma, but Oz Nimsha Chagilim Umaylo, automatically Hashem reveals Himself. So Vinayadati means Hashem wants us to know Him, but Vinayadati means Hashem wants us to know Him after establishing a place where we're going to meet, even if we make no effort initially. And because Vinayadati doesn't only mean that Hashem is going to be known intellectually, based on the use of our own faculties, but that Hashem is going to be known on a level of higher than Koyches. That this place called Mayat, which is how Hashem becomes known in time and space, Mayat Lashem's man and and Mayat Lashem Vinayadati, Hashem wishes to be known, and is being known as Lamailam Yamakav as man, is connected to Oil, because Oil is Makif. The tenth represents Makif, Save of Kalalmin, and the tenth, which is Makif, which is Save of Kalalmin, is representing the way the Abish is coming into the world, into time and space, and being known by us. Because, because we're not only knowing him, but Derech Yediyah, as the word Venedaiti would represent, but we're knowing him, but Derech Makif, which is Venedaiti, how Hashem appears in this world without our Chach Mabin being initiated. The way the Ebishter comes into this world to meet us at the time and the space that we should know him is Bebchinas Makif, Mumaylets, godliness and indirect ray. So there's the first Taich in Vinayadati, Mokum and Zman. There's the second Taich, Vinayadati, Loshin Yediya. And there's the third Taich, Vinayadati, Loshin, Ven I'll meet you there, which is higher than Yediya. And the Rebbe implies that Bahar Sina, this could happen even by skipping the middle step of Vinayadati. However, the idea that there's a concept of Eil Mayed, where in Tamakam Adan Hashem shows himself, and he shows himself on a level of an Adati, not just an Adati. We know him not just intellectually, we know him also spiritually, because he reveals himself to us on that level. It's Bala Achere. It only happens after Shiyashne Etzle Havaid, you first have the Havaid of Iskafia, which is mid Barsina, you bend yourself, which is the idea of dealing with the hatred of the world and the lack of settlement of the world, and so forth. Then you have the tent of meeting. Tent of meeting means where you meet the Eibish, then not only the Madreig of Pnimi, but also the Madreig of Makim. V'nei Adati, which is Eisi, is V'nei Daiti, Abba That's how Hashem comes to be known to us, not through the efforts of our mind and our heart, but directly from our Neshama. So we have three translations of the word Mayid. Mayid means time and space, Mayid means to be known, and Mayid means to show yourself, to show himself. And so far the Rebbe said that to show himself happens as soon as we have time and space without us getting to know it. But let's read the last three lines on this page, and I think the Rebbe is saying a little different. The Hine. Yachaliyas, it's conceivable that there should be a one of us You should understand the intellectual. You should even have the idea of knowing the Abishtar. 
intuitively, which is Madreig of Chachma, which is Ha Saga of Avon Hashem Sada Chachma, reaching and understanding the way Chachma has reached and the way Chachma has understanding. And of course, all this needs understanding. But then the Vene Aditi slash Vene Daiti would be limited. That will be inner faculties. How you know the Abishta with the mind that the Abishta gave you, and that's how you meet him. And then there's also Vinayadati, how you meet the Abish that higher than Das, and you have a Makiv. Achakach Nimshech Mumal Bechinus Eil Meid, where you know the Abish at a level of Makiv. And therefore, the way we read the word is Vinayadati, not Vinaydaiti, we know him on a level which is above Seichel. And the implication here, Rabbi Say, is that it's three things. It's not two things and an either or. Number one, the Abish creates time and space to meet us. Number two, we meet him on a level of Yediyah. And number three, after we meet him on a level of Yediyah, we meet him on a level of Makiv, which is Vinay Adeti. And the, this entire scheme of Oyal Mayat, of a place to meet the Eibishter, and knowing the Eibishter intellectually, knowing the Eibishter in Mailam and Asechel, is consistent with the theme of Vinifkadeti, Vinifkadeto. It's consistent with the theme of the Ebishter remembering the Yidin and revealing on Yidin a very, very high level of Elokus that should be taken as Mokum even in Atzmas. Now turn the page. I, I cannot say for sure that this is the Pshat, but I'm caught of Levada that the Rebbe is not saying two levels, here he's saying three levels. The first level is the place to meet. The second level is knowing him through our Chochma and our Bina and our Chochma. And the third level is knowing him, which is Eil Moyed, that comes into a Pneumius because before it came Bina and Chochma. On them calls uh, this entire scheme of Midbar Sinai. And the Yomayyad Midbar Sinai means a place of hatred and Midbar means a place which is lack of settlement. And Mayyad means a place of meeting and a place to be known and to be known in election and to be known with Derech Makiv. All of this Nehmar is all said about Neshama, Kameshi Lamata, the soul as it is in the body. Shemitzad Zeh Muvan, which of course automatically indicates Shechadei Sheyef Shekol Zeh, the only time this is possible, is Akai Dei Matan Tehru. Before Matan Tehru, there couldn't be all of these four things. Sinai, and Midbar Sinai, and Moyed, and Oyel Moyed. These four things, and in this order, that first you bring Toshia into the world. Toshia means the Matesh Eskech of the Guf and the Nefesh of Bahamas. To weaken Sinai, and Midbar Sinai. And then there's the idea of Moyed, and Venaidaiti which is culminated in the Vinay Adati, which is higher than the Vinay Daiti, which is called Oyel Mayed. All of this can only happen when Hashem gave us the Teda, because when He gave us the Teda, He made it possible for Teda to come into the world, both on the level of Tushia, which is to defeat Klippa, and level of Oyez to strengthen this that's below cannot go up, which means we cannot become a middle of And now, yeah, what's above cannot come below, middle of can come into the world, which would mean that you could have mid Sinai, which can't have a You could have a which can't have mid Sinai. The idea of having both, Idei, Matan Tehru, which is Bit, Lagazayin, and as the Pasuk, and the Medeshayani, Hamachal Ebesha comes and breaks the decree first, like it says in the Pasuk, Vayyad Hashem Adar Sinai. And only afterwards do you have a Meisha Amar Alei. Now, those parameters no longer exist. There could be the Madreig of Sinai and Midbar Sinai, which can be culminated by Mayad and Oil Mayad. That after the Eskafia, the struggling with the clip of this world and the hatred of this world, then transforming it, there's a Gilu Yair. First the Madrega of Yediya, and then the Makif is also with the Rech Yediya. Vene Daiti and Vene Yadati. So if I am not incorrect, there's three things here, right? In the, in the first Shir, we had two ideas. Ki Pocket Meshavach, which is Vittel, and Vinif Kalata, which is Zikar. Here you have Mid Oyal Mayed, Mid Bar Sinai, which is Vittel, and in Oyal Mayed you have actually two steps in the Indian of the Zikaran. The step of Mayed and the step of Mloshan Vene Daiti and the step of Oyel, the, the idea of Vene Adati. And he connects it on the Piki of us. Hine. The Shabbos says during Pesach, Zman Acher is saying, the Shabbos between Pesach, which is the time of our freedom, Ateris, and the time when we stop and pause and hesitate, which is Man Matan Tere Seinu. And of course, Kol in Yitzchak is my all over Chassidus. We're taught by Tziacha as Amazem mi Mitzrayim Tavdin Salakim Alada that the only reason we're not in Mitzrayim was a Chana B'Shul Matan Teira. Physically, we were redeemed from prison because we were slaves, but spiritually, that event is all about not just making us free, but making us slaves of the Eibush. There, as the Pesach says, Ve Tziacha as Amazem mi Mitzrayim Tavdin Salakim Alada that 
says that Abba Lehm Jamal is Pirkei Ovis, Lehm Pirkei Ovis. Look at Mishra Kosov. Besidir, Kvei Kedusha, Tad Mora Zokin, and it says in Altarei Besidir, that we can use it in Pesach and Shavuos. You say the Pirkei Ovis, but yes, a may say call Shabbos as a Kayetz. And of course, until Tosh and Lamed Ches, the Rebbe said it only between Pesach and Shavuos, that's how I remember my childhood. And of course, Tosh and Lamed Hay, which is when I was nine and a half, it was that way. And then after Tosh and Lamed Ches, the Rebbe began to say Pirkei Ovis a whole summer, from the first Shabbos after Pesach till at the Nitzav, till the Shabbos before Reish Hashanah. But here he brings the idea that Pirkei Ovis is said between Pesach and Shavuos, and Pesach and Shavuos is going to be linked to the two ideas of Kippokit Meshbechah and Nifkadata, which becomes the three ideas of Midbar Sinai, Moyed, and Oyel Moyed, as it relates to Pirkei Ovis. So, Chayin may be Bahama Morama now, which is why in the various my Morim of this time of year, we bring a Samishna and Pirkei Ovis, and is the Pirkei Ovis. So, here in the Kutateiro, in this Bainmer, he brings how in Pirkei Ovis you have the same idea as the Kippokit Meshbechah and Nifkadata, which is also Ayol Mayid, Midbar Sinai, and then Mayid, and then Ayol Mayid. How it is in the Mishnah is in Pirkei Avos, and here it's three steps. Sheshnam, Shesham, Yeshnam, Gamkin, Gimel, and Yanim. I have the three ideas. Now, what are the three ideas? Before we had only two. That is why I understand that Midbar Sinai is the first. Mayid, which is Man and Mokim, and knowing B'derach Seichel is the second. And Mayid, Zman and Mokim, and knowing B'derach Makif, Ayol Mayid is the third. And he connects it to the Mishnah in Pirkei Avis, like it says, when you the Mishnah, number one, I say to Tenech, Tenech, make your will, like his will, do what the Abishta wants, that's the Avaida of Bittel, is Kafir, but Chilas HaAvaida Yeshna Yerotz Nazar, in the beginning of Avaida Hashem, you want to do something else. And Kefa is saying, you force yourself, Shia Kiret saying nay, it should be as the Abishta wants, which is the Madrega of Kafir. And then you have and that's the second level. That's how it's in, understood in the mind of the Lakota Teira. And that would parallel that after Midbar Sine comes Oyel Mayid, but Oyel Mayid in the Madrig of Sechel. And then comes the third level, which makes you a Kaili for Makif, Sheinli Rotsen, Acher Klal Yevno Averotsen. And here it says the Bazar Gufa base on Yarum Khu, you have two ideas, but the way I understand it from the Laha Kanocha, that in the Maimir in the Kutateira, the three steps are Sayyid Senecha Kirtene. And the second step is And the third step is Batla Senecha Mepne Tsene. I looked in the Hanocha Balahak. Over here it says Batla Senecha has two levels. But over there he says like this, Asay, it's based on the Kutatayin and Pashas Mamid, but Asay Ritzayin Chok Yitzayinay, Asiyah, not Vitl, is the first step. Kadesh Yasir Ritzayin Achayim B'Fnei Ritzayin Chavaytar Asiyah is the second step. And Batl Ritzayin Chok Pnei Ritzayinay is the third step. Even though here the Rebbe says that in Batl Ritzayin Chok itself, there's Be'ez and Yonim, they bring in the Hanacha, they bring in the Hanacha two things, right, that there's Asay and this Batl. Asay, create your will like his will, this is his Kafya. And Batl is saying saying this is his habche, and then the footnote they bring that there's three steps. That's how it is in the Lukut Teiro. That's the implication here. And the chayla, the three steps are: step number one is midbar Sinai, step number two is Eil Meid, where the Indian for Eil Meid is vinaidaiti. I'm going to be known a level of seichel, and the higher madeg of Eil Meid is vinaidaiti. That my makkah is also going to be revealed, and it's going to be revealed in a way that comes into pnimias. But in any case, we paralleled. The two ideas of Ki Pokim Meshavech, which is Bittel, and Vinif Kabata, which is Gil Alakus, with now two ideas as it relates to Mid Barsina and El Maid, and El Maid itself, the two Madregas. And now we're ready to finish the Maimed, last paragraph number 23 in your text, which is why it says, in the third month, Remember, our Maimed does not begin Bachedish. Our Maimed begins Mokar Chedish. But it's also connected to Bachedish. And which is Miyad, Bereish Chedish. As soon as you have Bereish Chedish, you already have Bo Mid Bar Sinai, Kfar Yetzlam, Eslam, Shnei Yon Yon, Mid Bar Sinai. Like it says in the Possible Bo Mid Bar Sinai. And then it says that we can show me some negative heart, which is Lachedish, the Inavail Mayat. Now, even though the Pashtus, Mid Bar Sinai, has nothing to do with Oyal Mayat, and the Oyal Mayat is not going to be built until Mamish a year later, this is a Chedish Sivan, the Basemitis rebuilt the following Nisan. 
And so on. Nevertheless, we say, you have Shnei Hanyan and Midbasine and Oihil Meid. Even though Bepashtus, the Oihil Meid, was not built on the Chedr Siv and made a lot of Tov Memchaes. O Kameshim Evayek, Ve Gedushas, Ad Morazakam, Ve Teire Eid. Al Tadebe says, Look at the Teire, the Teire Eid, Sha'az, that then, that even though it was only Shchedish Sivan, the Tater was not yet given, they didn't have mitzvahs, and they didn't have bu- building the base Hamikdash, Kfar Hoya Mukh on the Kabbalah Satera. They were all ready to receive the Tater, and if they were ready to receive the Tater, they didn't only have the Bamid Barsina, they somehow had spiritually also the Eil Mayat. And the Rebbe doesn't explain why and how, he just says it as a matter of fact. That Rosh Shchedish Sivan, they had Mid Barsina, which includes the Mid Barsina and Har Sina and Allah Gutta Zachan, or Allah Shvera Zachan. But they also had the Eil made, even though the Eil made would not be built for a year. And of course, Adain Sarachir. And after the Shchei, the Bar Beyem Hashlish, Yishishi, Oy Beyem Hashlish, comes the sixth day of the third day. Now, what does it mean, the sixth day of the third day? It makes no sense. It means it should be Beyem Hashishi, Shuhu Yem Hashlish. So that's what is Bepashtas. Yem Hashishi goes according to the Shit of the Chachom. That Yid had only two days they prepared for Harsin, and the Tater was given on, on the Shishi, which was Shabbos. The Kula Alma be Shabbos Nitna Tater, or be Yem Hashlishi, means Shlishi, or the Shlish is Me'ak Bala. So calling the day of Harsin a Yem Hashishi is referring to the Pasuk, which is the first Chita. The Tater was given on Vav, and the Shechid Yishim was Monday. And the, reading the words by Yem Hashlishi is consistent with the second Chita, Shita Sarab Yesi, that Meshad Abeinu. Hesef Yem Echad Midaitein, they arrived in Harsinai on Sunday, which was a Shchedish, and the Tere was given on Shabbos, which is Zayin. Okshayin. So, as soon as they arrive, they already have not only B'mid Basine, but in some Ruchni is they go away. They even have Oyel Mayed, and they're ready to get the Tere, to get the Tere on the level of his Kafia, to get the Tere on the level of his Habche, and to get the level of Tere on the level of his Habche, where the Maka becomes a Pneem. And he continues, and he says, the Kamei Shubat Tere, just like from Reish Chedish, even, and certainly from Vover Zayin, even. There was already a readiness for the end of mid by seeing an ill-made and giving the tato. But it comes into the actual world. How does the ideas of a mid by seeing an ill-made, be a mashishi, be a mashlishi, come into the actual world? First of all, bizman it's mash b'chaydish nis noyki boracha. The month of nisim we ran away with the veda v'skafia, which parallels the idea of ki pocket mishav echa, or the idea of mid by seeing. And the second month is called Ziv, which means a trace of light. Chapirushi is Ziv, who the meaning of Ziv is light. Meaning, Chinas is Habcha, the Dev is Habcha, which is the idea that in Chedesh Ir we experience godliness on the level of Yedi, of an Edaiti, the Madrego of Bina, and even on Choch. Achakach, Ba Chedesh Ziv, and Ju Chedesh Ashlish, it becomes the third month, which is Yichud, the joining together of this Gafia of Chedesh Nissen and this Habcha of Chedesh Ir. And this half of Chedesh Shir is done on an even higher level that not only do we know the Ebi Shabbatarach Seichel, we know the Ebi Shabbatarach Vinayadati, Makif. So, though Gamkin in the Midbasin of Elmit, first you have the Avedi Matata Adam, which is Midbasinai, is Kafia. Harkach, Bohagil, Bohagil, is Makif, Elmit. And in Elmit itself, you have these two steps. First of all, you have the idea in a level of Seichel, and then second, we have the infam Makif, which is higher than Seichel, and how the Makif comes into the Pneum is Vezer Nemeshek Achakach Badaz Vene Daiti. Now, here the Seder in this Maim is a bit different, as if the Makif comes before the Pneum. But Lachet of the Kavana, as I said earlier, first there's this Kafir, then there's this Habcha, but then Chavana, and then Chachma, and then there's this Habcha, is Kafir, is Habcha, but being Mamshech Alakus. Which is called the but now the Rebbe has a fourth level. In addition to the idea that mid basina means you're not fighting, it's kafi. And el means that el moyed means we're meeting al on the level of yediyah, number two. El moyed we're meeting al on the level of makif, which is number three. This is number four. And the number four is that el moyed shesham hu v'neidaiti, which is chayder amit. The idea that Hashem, not v'neidaiti, that it becomes known. V'neidaiti, that He shows us up to us is chayder amit. Is the bedroom? The bedroom, of course, the place of maximum intimacy between Yidden and the Eibushter. And the chayyud, this is even a higher level. Not only it's pnimi, it's not only makif, but it's etzim. And the etzim is nimshach and eifim pnimi, just like heilada. It comes from Ashba Atmis, and even though Ashba Atmis is called shefa, which is the Indian pnimi, it carries the whole etzim, and that's the fourth level. Shasham Huyan and Yichud Zun, that in Chayder Amitas, there's a Yichud of Zun, but of course, over here, Yichud Zun doesn't mean Zun in Ishtal Shlos, it means Zun in Atmos, 
which is the idea of the two kruvim. Like it says in Teira, Eber Kavya Kedish, the Admor Beatzmei, that the two kruvim 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 is the safe and the same safe, which is Yesaid, and Tchidla Selim is Bia, which is Malchus. But over here, Yesaid and Malchus means on the very highest of levels. And Achida, this is a fourth Madreg. There is the Midbar Sinai, which is taking away the Klippa. There's Kafia. And uh, El Meid, there's three levels. Number one, knowing him intellectually, Beifem Pnimi. Number two, Vinay Aditi, knowing him Beifem Makia, which is higher than Pnimi. And number three, which is the Makia becoming into Pnimi. The two opposites come together because it's a Yichud Atmi, like Cheder Amitis. And this third of levels, or fourth level, it's not just knowing Hashem and Yaseicha with Derech Pnimi. It's not just knowing Hashem with Derech Makav higher than Yaseicha. But the knowing the Ebi Shel Lamayla Man Yaseicha comes into Yaseicha is the Madrig of Google Esim, which is Bechin Asa Makiv, but not Makiv Kiim Gam Megin. It's a Makiv which protects. And if you remember, on the top of page 392, the Rebbe said Google Esim is Yechida, and Lafila Lamayla Mizeh. Bechlal in Chazidus Galgalta is Arich. Right, this Galgalta Mechin Stimoin. Mechin Stimoin is lower than Galgalta, which is Kesser Shabbat Kesser, or higher than Galgalta, which is Kesser Shabbat Kesser. This previous Mechin Stimoin, which is previous Akesser. So Galgalta, which is Kesser, is the highest point in Chitanius Akesser. Galgalta is the highest point in Chitanius Akesser. Here, Galgalta is Yechida, which is so much higher than Kesser Bechlal. It's higher than a Makiv. And this is the Pshat, Cheder Amitis. The bedroom. For later, Akshu Makiv, Kim Gam Megin. And this makif comes into the ultimate pnimius. I guess you could call it not just pnimius but atzmius. What does it mean? That even if you're holding only with the yichud ilah, that's where you should be focusing. The yichud ilah, you should occasionally think about the yichud ilah because it's megin al avedi yichud ilah. If you do the avedi yichud ilah, it brings joy and light into the struggle of yichud ilah, and that's why you need it. So the similar thing is here. That your mamshach the makif of yechid of elamay leyeser, and it comes down in even from v'neyadati, v'neyadati into the extent of v'neyadati because the makif comes into a pnimi because the inyan of yechuzah. And if I'm not incorrect, the Rebbe is trying to say here that even though in the marshal there's only two things, there is the bittel of ki yipakid mishavach, and then there is the zikaron of. Vinifkadata in the Nimshal there's three madregas in the Vinifkadata which comes after the Kiyah pocket Meshavach. The Pnimi, the Makif, and the Yatsmi, which is Machab the Pnimi and the Makif. Okay, so I'm done with the Maimir. I hope I told it correctly. And Mr. Shem, this coming Friday we'll learn the next Maimir. Bishaw, Shogimu, Yisrael, Nasal, and Nishma, Yotas, Abbasko, Omra, Mi, Gila, Lebona, Iroze. Agutanacht.